My name is Thomas Matthew Crooks. I hate Republicans. I hate Trump. And guess what? You got the wrong guy. Hello again, party people, and welcome back to my channel once again. We're told that this is Thomas Crooks with the rifle that shot Trump, Corey, James, and David. If this was a rifle, then why doesn't the top of it match the top of the rifle that was found on the roof? The top of the rifle and the top of the thing that the dead guy is holding do not match party people. Now, there were three shots fired, then five shots, then two softer sounding shots fired. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. <laughs> So is it possible that this cop fired some of the shots? He's got a rifle, and he's aiming at the roof. After this SWAT sniper raises his hand, he walks over to the cop with a rifle by the fence. Why did he walk over to the cop by the fence if the cop by the fence never fired any shots? And why is the cop who is filming this video pointing to the SWAT cop walking over to the other cop with a rifle? Now here is the cop by the fence, who might have fired some of the shots. Then we see the SWAT cop walking over toward the cop by the fence. This second cop climbing over the fence hurt his hand on the top of the fence, so it might be his blood found in the building washroom. Watch his left hand. Now you see the SWAT cop reaches the fence to talk to the other cop, who likely fired some of the shots that you aren't being told about on any other channel. Now after leaving the fence, the SWAT cop walks to this area where he picks something up off the ground. Now you see the first cop had a rifle. So it's possible that this cop with a rifle fired some of the shots party people. Now this eyewitness said he saw a cop on the ground firing two to four shots. He said he saw the smoke coming from the cop's gun. But this eyewitness said the cop that was shooting was standing behind him. There is no guy standing in front of any cops on the ground. I've looked to try and find this eyewitness in the crowd, as he has a distinct shirt on, and I can't find him anywhere. So is he lying? Or have I just not found him in the crowd yet? Something that sounded like a firecracker and we turned around and there was people behind us and it was two of our guys, I think, in camo uniform shooting back. And then we seen a guy inside the crowd here, probably 15 away from us, get shot. They said there was a casualty and he was dead and somebody else got shot. And then apparently our guys were shooting on top of the building and everybody started cheering once they got the shooter. You can see him up on top of the building there. Okay, so when this was all happening, because now when you when you play it back, you can you know kind of figure it out and, and make it more succinct. But when this was happening, did you know where these possible shots were coming from? I mean, I can see the guys literally. Be, well, the shots that we heard at the time, we thought it was somebody. We seen, turned around, we seen smoke literally coming out of the barrel. Of the guys behind us. It was at the time we thought they were coming at us, but it happened to be our guys shooting back at him. So everybody was freaking out, thinking we were going to get shot by the people right behind us, but they were actually protecting us, shooting the shooter. And where was the shooter, according to what you're seeing and yeah, when you were there? Here, and our shooter's up to our left, probably, I don't know, 40 feet away or so, up on top of that building or whatever it was. Yeah, but the possible shooter, whoever there possibly was fired. In the crowd that got shot. I don't know if he had whatever. Somebody said he had a pistol. I'm not sure if that's true or not. Mm -hmm. But somebody in the crowd got shot from our guys or somebody, I don't know, and he... Whatever. Okay. So it's Not a sure. confusing situation. But Maybe. when when you heard those pops, uh, do you did they sound like they were coming from in the crowd, outside of the crowd, outside of that that fence near the retention pond? It literally sounded like it was twenty feet behind us, right outside the fence, right there. I mean, it was literally. 
10 feet behind us. The guys that were our guys were 15 feet behind us. We literally watched them shoot back. I mean, they were right there. How many shots did it look like the law enforcement fired at a possible shooter? Uh, two to four. Now this cop is walking toward the stage party people, and he starts running before any shots are fired. There is no audio on his chest cam, but it's possible that he heard on his radio when the other cop said that he saw a person on the roof. So why did this cop run past the gap where Slick is? Why didn't he run to tell Slick about a guy being on the roof so Slick could get Trump off the stage? When the guy starts to run, he could hear Trump talking so he knew Trump was still on the stage, and he doesn't bother to run toward the stage to warn the Secret Service. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old, and if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. There was confusion about whether the different cops were on different radio frequencies, which is just plain incredible. Now the local cops claim the Secret Service didn't even pick up the radios that the local police provided them. We're not, are we are on the same frequency? Republican I you... Congressman Clay Higgins alleging Secret Service never picked up radios that the Butler County tactical team set aside for them the day before the attacks. The two agencies could talk to each other during the rally. The Butler County District Attorney confirming that information to CNN, saying that Secret Service missed a radio call by local police warning of a man on a nearby roof three minutes before the gunshots were fired. The DA said, quote, if a holder of the radio was paying attention, they would have received the call. The These two cop snipers are Secret Service snipers. They were on the North Barn. But were the two snipers on the South Barn also Secret Service snipers? The storyline goes that one of the snipers on the South Barn made the kill shot. How did the two snipers on the South Barn know to turn around and face the building if they did not have radio communications about someone being on the roof? There is so much bullshit going on in this case party people that it's simply off the chart. He's gone! He's dead. I just seen his hair oh, blow up. They shot him in the head. He's dead. 